Hopping the beans, is that okay? Is it okay if I call you my Prada bae? I ain't no player, I just got a lot of bae But let me tell you, I like you a lot, bae I wanna start at the top and the bottom, bae Now you want to shoot with the red at the bottom, bae You know I like when you right at the top, bae She wants your name, name, and yo yo I'm only doing cash, yeah, I don't need promo What's up, YouTube? So today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I make this delicious fettuccine alfredo if you end up liking this video or even trying out the recipe for yourself, go ahead and hit that subscribe, like, and share button for more recipes, DIYs, and other content. Now, let's get to the recipe. First off, you're going to heat your pan to a medium high heat and add 4 tablespoons of oil. Then you're going to add 4 cloves of minced garlic. Let that cook for about 10 seconds. Next, you're gonna add four cups of heavy whipping cream. Give it a good stir, and then we're gonna add all of our seasonings. For seasonings, I used black pepper, some garlic herb, Italian seasoning, and crushed red pepper. Stir it up a little bit, and then heat to a simmer. Once it starts to heat up, you're going to add 6 tablespoons of butter. Then you're going to let it simmer for about 5 minutes. Once the sauce is nice and thick, you're going to add one cup of Parmesan cheese. Let it simmer again for about 7 to 10 minutes until the sauce is nice and thick. Once the sauce is thick, you're going to add one and a half cups of mozzarella cheese. Let that cook for about 5 minutes and stir occasionally. While that's cooking, we're gonna start on our chicken. I use five chicken breast tenders and I always like to start off by rinsing off my chicken and taking off any fat that may be on it. For seasoning, I used Italian seasoning, black pepper, some crushed red pepper, and one packet of taco seasoning. After rubbing the seasoning into the chicken, I transferred it to a bowl and then cleaned out my sink. This is what the sauce should look like and you're going to set it to a low heat just to keep it warm. We're going to now boil some broccoli. Heat your pan to medium high, add oil and the pre-seasoned chicken. Make sure you cook your chicken thoroughly. While that's cooking, we're going to move on to our garlic butter sauce. On medium high heat, you're going to add one cup of butter, melting it completely. To season, we're going to add Italian seasoning, parsley flakes, black pepper, and four minced garlic cloves. Let's simmer for about a minute. Once your chicken is done, you're going to transfer it to a cutting board. In that same pan, we're going to start on our shrimp. You're going to add a little bit of oil and detailed shrimp. For seasoning, I use black pepper, Johnny seasoning salt, some Italian seasoning, and Old Bay seasoning. For the bread bowl, I used a French loaf I got from Fred Meyer. You're gonna cut a circle around the perimeter, leaving about an inch of space between the hole and the end of the loaf. You're going to dissect the inside of the loaf until you create a bowl. Next, I'm just patting it down and making it as even as possible. Next, you're going to take your butter garlic mixture and just spread it around the inside of the loaf as well as on top.
Now you're gonna put it on a pan and then cook it until the inside is nice and golden brown. Next, we're gonna chop up our chicken. I just cut it in little cubes. You can leave it like that or you can do as I'm doing right now and then do little sections. This is just easier for my kids to eat. We're gonna turn up our heat to medium high for our sauce and add pasta, our shrimp, broccoli, and our chicken. Next, we're gonna mix it up and let it cook until the garlic bread is done. Now that our bread is done, we're gonna add some pasta to the inside of the bowl. For toppings, I sprinkled some mozzarella cheese. some Parmesan cheese, and some parsley flakes for garnish. You're gonna put it back in the oven at broil and cook until the cheese is golden brown. And there we go, a delicious Alfredo bread bowl. If you end up trying this recipe at home or just like the video, go ahead and hit the like button and the share. If you want to see more recipes, DIYs, and other content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I hope you enjoyed watching. See you next time. Bye. You know I like when you ride at the top, babe. She wants your name, name, D-O-Yo. I'm only doing cash, I don't need promo.